oh my god what on earth is this help okay so let's see what this says lots and lots of wonderful people are saying brahmos is not nuclear capable contrary to what people think brahmos is not nuclear capable missile brahmos is not nuclear power brahmos is not nuclear capable brahmos is not nuclear capable missile according to mtca rules blah 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 zeta leadership says brahmos is not designed to carry nuclear warheads and subodh is saying again this is not nuclear capable and mtcr laws and all that whatever so this is just a small sample of the number of comments i have received saying that you are wrong brahmos is not a nuclear capable missile are baba where do you get this information from my dear friends in what world are you living is it coming from your favorite youtuber or your favorite uh, media channel who's telling you that the brahmos is not nuclear capable let me let me i mean let me show you something so please take a look at this what does it say this is the uh, um, very uh, famous portal called the national interest it's an american website what does it say here india sukhoi 30 fighters now come with nuclear brahmos missiles so what does it say that brahmos is a nuclear missile it's a nuclear capable missile let's see one more so this is a uh, militarytoday.com it says the brahmos cruise missile can carry nuclear warheads let's see one more uh this is the times now news more power to the indian air force as nuclear capable brahmos is successfully test fired from sukhoi 30 mki of the bay of bengal i can show you 500 more uh examples that corroborate what i am saying the brahmos is a nuclear capable cruise missile it's a supersonic cruise missile i don't know where people get this information from please learn how to search for authentic information some news portal somewhere says the brahmos is not nuclear capable or maybe wikipedia says it i don't know who says it why do you believe that can't you look at different sources of information more reliable sources of information the brahmos is a nuclear capable missile and then they're talking about the mtcr rules according to international law mtcr mr whatever india is a member so india is not allowed to do this do that are baba the pakistanis are also bound by the mtcr the chinese are also bound by bound by the mtcr so how did pakistan acquire ballistic missile technology via china from north korea what happened to the mtcr rules missile missile technology control regime why does it only selectively apply to india i just don't agree the this sheep sheep like behavior that we have to follow international law no we have to follow nothing we have to do what is in our best interest so uh, the mtcr said this and that see what is the mtcr the missile technology control regime and according to this this it's a gang and they they these are the countries that have that are the powerful countries india was not a member of the mtcr and because of that india was not allowed to receive missile technology from a third country like russia for instance which in which the missile would have a range of more than 300 kilometers that's why the initial brahmos was said to have a range of 290 kilometers all right well the thing is very simple you change the fuel your range will change so if you have a missile that has a stated range of 290 kilometers but you change the fuel in the ramjet engine or wherever else in the other engine in the initial engine you may have a different range which may be less which may be more so the initial uh, version the block 1 i think it's called the block 1 brahmos was said to have a range of 290 kilometers but there were well there were rumors you could say that uh, you could call them that this missile could go much further than that then india in 20 whatever a few years ago became a member of the mtcr regime and then india now can uh, acquire technology or export technology to mtcr members in which the missiles have a longer range there is no limitation to that so newer versions of the brahmos i believe they have a range of 700 kilometers 800 kilometers 900 kilometers uh we are supposedly building uh, developing a more advanced version of the brahmos with a range of more than 1500 kilometers right uh, there is the brahmos new generation missile which is a lighter and shorter missile uh then there is the aerial brahmos missile which can be launched from the sukhoi aircraft and maybe the rafale also then there is a brahmos 2 missile that's been developed which is not a supersonic missile it's a hypersonic missile 
which will have a very long range, maybe more than 1500 kilometers. So the uh, regular Brahmos has a, has a has a ramjet engine. It is a, it's a two stage missile. The uh, first stage is a, I think it's a solid fuel stage, which accelerates the missile to Mach one, which is a, approximately the speed of the, the speed of sound. And once the missile crosses Mach one. That's when you can ignite the ramjet because the ramjet needs supersonic sp speeds. So the, the that's when the ramjet engine is ignited. The first stage is jettisoned, and that's when the missile way, goes way beyond Mach two. It reaches nearly Mach three, which is three times the speed of sound. So that is the Brahmos, the regular Brahmos missile. Brahmos two, which will not have a ramjet but a scramjet, which is a supersonic combusting ramjet engine. The new Brahmos, the Brahmos two, will have a will have a top velocity of about Mach 8, which is eight times the speed of sound. So it's, it is a hypersonic missile. So I don't know whether it's been developed, whether, it's be, whether it is still under development. We will not make these things very clear. Obviously, we should not. But the thing is this, these missiles can carry conventional warheads. They can carry rocks if you want, if you want to increase the kinetic energy of the impact. If you want to cut a ship in, in half, then you don't need to carry a warhead. You can just put uh, 200 tons of uh, 200 kilos, 300 kilos, whatever whatever the weight is of rocks or, or concrete just to increase the kinetic energy of the impact. You can do that. The Brahmos can destroy a ship without carrying a warhead. Or you can even put a nuclear warhead in the Brahmos. So it's up to you what you want to do as if you own the missile, if you have it. And we, we own the missile, India. Right. So the Brahmos is 100% a nuclear capable missile. I don't know where you get this misinformation for, from. It's clear that this misinformation is very widespread. Lots, I mean, dozens of people have made these comments, which is completely incorrect. 